Hey guys, Bill Meiser, Clutch Constrictors. Just wanted to shoot a quick little mini collection video because I was down here feeding some stuff and thought some of the stuff looked good and hadn't got it all on camera yet, so. First up, I got the banana. A little update on him. Um, he still looks awesome. He's sitting at about 400 grams now. And he's doing just fine. He's a fat little sausage. He takes his time when he's in shed, but that's normal. And uh, by the time any of my girls are ready for him, he'll have more than enough size. So, he's doing good. Uh, what else? Got my first Super Mojave here, which I didn't plan on. Let's get it under the nice light over here. Never planned on getting one of these, but I produced one and I couldn't help it. I had to hold her back. I don't know if this is coming in on camera or not, but if you look close, she's got a nice yellow stripe going down the dorsal with a nice lavender, lavender-ish color going down both sides and then the grayish purple head. So, and she eats like a little hog. Had to sell her brother, but had to keep her. Never planned on having one of those in the collection, but now that I got one, I'm really happy about it. And then we got this pastel champagne that I held back, female. I just figure, two jean female. Cool paradox spot. She's got a black eye and a blue eye, which is really cool. I don't know how you'd say that. I don't know if you'd say she has two paradoxes or she is a paradox. I don't really care. I think she's really cool and she's staying with me. Whether she ever breeds or not, that's a pet that I'm always going to love. Um, this guy I just love to death, but it's my albino spider. But I'm sorry to say this beautiful dark orange breeder male is sold. He's going to get just got a little nick on his eye there from the last radiate. But he won the fight. And uh, yeah, I'm shipping him out tomorrow. So it's okay. Still got his brother. And I'm keeping that one for as long as I can because I love him. I like looking at this guy just as much as I like looking at the banana, believe it or not. Oh! Get in there. Uh, what else? I want to show some pides I hatched out recently. These guys are awesome. I only had four eggs, but I got three high white pides out of it. Uh, let's see, this is a male. One second. This is uh, probably about an 85 to 90 percent white male. White all the way down to the tip of the tail there. And he will be for sale. This is the other male. Thinking about keeping this one just because of that whacked out pattern. Um, this little brown tip. Let's see if I can get it open up a little better. Yeah, I'm loving that pattern. I mean, if you ask me, that's that's the kind of look we're trying to achieve when we mix pides with other mutations. That looks to me nicer than a lot of the past alpides I've seen out there. So I might keep this guy for a backup. Might sell him. Not sure yet. And then this is my shy little holdback female here. She's also another 90% white. Um, but you know what, I just wanted to say one thing before I cut away here. If, if you're looking to get a pied and you like the white, medium to high white pieds like most people do, don't make the mistake of trying to go the cheap route and buying a low white pied thinking you're going to toss a bunch of high white pieds out of it. Because um, I would take the advice that someone else gave to me. Um, yeah, people say that you can make high white pieds out of a low white pied and vice versa. 
but um, babies tend to look like their parents. That's just a fact. I mean, I don't think it's a coincidence that I got three medium to high white pies. And that's their father. Um, you know, same story with my genetic stripe here, who is deep in shed. But nice, perfect, full stripe. Last year, got seven eggs from him, from, from the dame, the head genetic stripe. This is the male. Got seven, seven eggs, five genetic stripes. Four of them were perfectly fully striped. One of them had one little nick in it. Babies tend to look like their parents. I had a couple different big breeders call me up and ask me if they could buy the females because they were getting a Red Devil project started and they wanted mine. And they explained to me, yes, they can make babies that look different, but they tend to look like their parents. So anyway, I won't say that again. I'm just going to cut away on this banana because I love them. Thanks for watching.